Kaito has made a lot of interesting games over the years, more so in the retro days. Some were good, some were bad, some were just odd, and Jolly Jogger is one of those games. Not the good, not the bad, not the southern bitch. Released in arcade in 1982, as you can see, this is a fixed single screen action game, but with some puzzle elements to it. There is a small story behind the game and it goes like this. A jogger goes out for a run around the city. He is ambushed by muggers. Wait a minute. He's out for a jog in the city, but why does it look like a fucking dance floor or some shit? Personally, I think this motherfucker's tripping on some drugs. That's why he's so fucking jolly. You play as the jogger and you must run around the dotted lines to cover them to complete a square, as the squares are incomplete. You must do it in a limited time before the fuse on a bomb explodes. How the fuck can you be jolly? Seriously, you have to do this before the bomb blows up? What the fuck is this? If you complete all the squares, you finish the round and form a picture. Muggers will take your life if one of them catches you. You can get a power-up by completing a special square, and that will fight back against the muggers, and this will knock them out for a moment. Pretty basic game to understand, but I will say this, these muggers can be a bitch to handle, but it's not extremely difficult or something that you can sit there and say, oh, it's too tough, I can't beat it. <laughs> The graphics for Jolly Jogger, for its time, is badass looking. It has the black background and the colors really pop out when you complete a square and get a colorful picture after you complete a level. The animations from the sprites are good for its time, although the muggers look basically the same, which I guess is understandable. You don't want them to be completely different, but there are different looking ones. I just really can't say anything bad about the graphics, especially for 1982. The music? A bit rough to listen to. It's not the worst I've ever heard, but at the same time, I don't find it to be very good. More so the same shit in this loop, and it can be just annoying after a while, especially these high-pitched noises. What the fuck? I guess it could be a lot worse. The sound effects are pretty basic, nothing real amazing. The controls, pretty damn simple, and actually quite responsive. You move around, make sure you complete the squares and so on. Doesn't take a real fucking genius to know how to play this game or what's going on. Jolly Jogger is enjoyable. The gameplay is simple to understand. The farther you you go it, it does get a little difficult but not anything that is impossible you have to just time your movements but at the same time you need to know what the fuck you're doing especially when you're on a timer the graphics i think are nice for 1982 the music is definitely a flaw it's not complete shit but very rough to listen to the controls are simple to understand responsive but definitely not a lot to complain about in general this is one of those games you can play a little bit here and there and try to go for a high score and then not play for a long while and then come back to it every once in a while at the end of the day though i really enjoyed it now the there was no ports to console, there is no sequel, which is kind of understandable, but at the same time, wouldn't it be really fucking cool if somebody did a new game just for the fuck of it? have better looking graphics, obviously something more modern, and released it on itch.io or something like that. I doubt that would happen, but you know for a fucking fact I would play it. Well that is it for this review of Jolly Jogger for Arcade. Thank you for watching. You motherfuckers kick ass. <laughs>